Hey guys, this presentation on a comparison between MySQL and Oracle is brought to you by Sagar and Sharad. Let's start with a quick trivia. MySQL is actually a combination of My, the name of co-founder Michael Widenus's daughter, and SQL, the abbreviation for Structured Query Language. Oracle holds number one DBMS market share worldwide based on the revenue share ahead of its four closest competitors, IBM, Microsoft, SAP, and Teradata. We hope that by the end of this presentation, you all will have a brief knowledge of how the two databases actually work. As any organization grows, the data associated with it also grows exponentially. To manage such large amount of data, an efficient database has to be incorporated into the organization. Relational databases are powerful because they require few assumptions about how data is related or how it will be extracted from the database. As a result, the same database can be viewed in many different ways. RDBMS data is stored in the form of related tables. In the current competitive market, there are many new RDBMS systems like Sybase, PostGRE SQL, and IBM DB2, which are continuously trying to improve themselves to become the preferred RDBMS system. But the three prominent databases, which are very popular among the organizations are Oracle, MySQL, and Microsoft SQL. MySQL is an open source RDBMS system and the developers of MySQL have made the source code available to the public under the terms of the GNU general public license as well as under a variety of proprietary agreements. MySQL was initially owned by a Swedish company called MySQL AB which was later acquired by Sun Microsystems. Sun was later on acquired by Oracle and now MySQL is a proprietary of Oracle. MySQL has two versions available. One which is the community ser server which is free and an enterprise edition which is a paid service. MySQL has been downloaded 20 million times till date and has an active user base of 4 million sites. But unfortunately there are only 4,000 odd licensed users who pay an annual fee of $4,482 for licenses and support. Oracle Database is an object relational database management system produced and marketed by Oracle Corporation. Larry Ellison and his two friends and former co-workers Bob Miner and Ed Oates started a consultancy called Software Development Laboratories in 1977. SDL developed the original version of the Oracle software. The name Oracle comes from the code name of a CIO funded project Ellison had worked on while formerly employed by Ampex. Oracle Corporation was the first company to develop a commercial level version of SQL that was designed to manipulate data in a RDBMS using queries and joins. Oracle has four database versions to offer. Enterprise Edition, Standard Edition, Express Edition, and Standard Edition 1. This slide shows how compatible are MySQL and Oracle with different operating systems along with the programming languages they support. Oracle supports all operating systems which MySQL does except FreeBSD, Symbian OS and Amiga OS. Okay, now let's dive into the main characteristics of relational database management systems and find out how MySQL and Oracle are standing out in each of its characteristic feature. Database security and user access authentication are the primary steps to be considered when a database design 
has been made. MySQL database. MySQL database uses grant tables when performing authentication, authorization, and access controls. Unlike any other database systems, MySQL also uses an additional location parameter to authenticate a user. Oracle database is named as a leader in database security. Apart from the authentication, it also drives preventive and detective security controls. Oracle system grants privileges separately, whereas MySQL database grants privileges based on a hierarchical system. Next feature being database storage gives users the liberty to explore additional package features and facilities provided. Stored procedural packages are nothing but code which can be deployed onto a new instance of database server. This is done as to maintain the coherence between the production and the non-production server instances maintained in an organization. SQL syntax commonly follow the standard and do not vary much between the popular database management systems. MySQL database has an extensive storage features but it doesn't uh, support storage features like tablespace, synonym and as well not support PLSQL functions and procedures. It supports only two character types namely the char and var char. Oracle database has extensive storage features and package schema object feature. It provides more flexibility to PLSQL functions and procedures. Oracle also supports char and var char along with ncar and var char too. Yes, we cannot always rely on the production server alone in an organization. It is always a best practice to have a disaster recovery instance which mirrors the exact setup of production instance. This is implemented by the companies to keep the business going in case of catastrophic events or server errors causing the production servers to break down. Thus, the database backups have to be efficient, fast, and reliable. MySQL using InnoDB will have better DB recovery compared to MySQL using MYISAM. InnoDB also implements transactions, foreign keys, and relationship. MySQL has MySQL dump and MySQL hot copy backup utilities. Oracle is in a much better place in database backups and a faster recovery because it has a popular backup utility called Recovery Manage which makes the backups very fast and reliable. Now, after going to the introduction of MySQL and Oracle and also following it up with the characteristic features we have to have a brief idea of where to use MySQL database. MySQL databases are generally used and popular in websites and which has PHP integration. Many applications that use MySQL are geared towards LAMP stack, commonly known as LAMP stack, which stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Ironically, all of them being open source. Now, we all know where the Oracle databases are used. Oracle databases are used for high severity applications in large corporations. Oracle is capable of running large VLDBs which has extremely large physical file system storage space where VLDB stands for very large database. High risk applications requiring flashback technology for backup recovery. This is very much a pivotal for all organizations and thus Oracle databases are used in companies.